Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are here with the 2006 FIFA World Cup game. I'm going to do a qualifying run with Vanuatu. It's on world class. I know nobody really asked for this, but I feel like it's going to be quite a fun one. I haven't done an Oceania qualification run on 2006 ever, so let's just go. We're going to get straight into it. We've got a whole group here. I'm not sure how it actually worked back in 2006, but I'm fairly sure this is not how it worked. Remember, we got Australia back in the Oceania groups. So it'll be interesting to see if we can actually perform against Australia and New Zealand. Um, it's going to be really, really tough to uh, do this. So our first match is against the Solomon Islands. So uh, let's see if we can beat the Solomon Islands here at home for Vanuatu. I'm hoping so. Um, I don't know anything about Vanuatu apart from the fact that I played as them on 2010 and I got quite far, but it wasn't a qualifying run, it was just a basic run. Remember, Oceania was a different place when Australia were competing in that group, that sort of like zone, I guess, before they got moved to the Asia zone. Remember, Australia would just get a free pass for qualifying most of the time. And um, I'm so glad that they did move them to the Asia zone because otherwise these little teams wouldn't have a wouldn't have a fighting chance really. I mean New Zealand are there and I understand that New Zealand might be the best team there. But still they do suffer um, shock results against some of these smaller teams. Off to a good start we cross it in and we go for the header and it just goes wide. Unlucky from Vanuatu. Oh, I was crossed in. Solomon Islands though not able to capitalise on that chance. Through ball here, yes, come on, Poida. Come on, Poida. Slide in. Oh, unlucky, but we could get the tap in. We have, and we're 1 0 up against the Solomon Islands. It's Murma with the goal in the 38th minute, and it's 1 0 to Vanuatu. How about that? Really decent start here from Vanuatu just before half time, scoring a crucial goal against the Solomon Islands. Half time, we're 1 0 up against. Solomon Islands, can we keep it this way? Please, can we keep it this way? Get a first win on the board. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about playing New Zealand and Australia, honestly. Like, those two teams will probably beat me by heavy margins if I'm playing on this difficulty. Oh, here we go, Vanuatu about to score. No, just saved by the keeper. Very unlucky. Good tackle. Can we whip it into the box? Crossed in. Go for the header. Just straight into the keeper's arms. Oh no. Solomon Islands going through here. Come on. Stop them before they score. Good save by the keeper. I think we're going to take this one. A 1-0 victory against the Solomon Islands. We did. And uh, that's a good result to start off with. Did you know that 80 islands make up the Republic of Vanuatu? Look at those pictures there. How gorgeous is that island, honestly? I mean, this part of the world, imagine just like playing football there and living there. It must be so peaceful. You know, it's not busy. It's not like the busy hustle life that you get in places like England or the USA. It's just so chilled out. You know, it must be amazing, apart from the fact that you might not get a very good internet out there, or you don't really get that many supplies, if you know what I mean, because obviously it's, like, so far away. So we're against Fiji here, and um, we're looking for another good result. Someone did ask me to do a Fiji qualifying run on either 2010 or 2014, and I was like, yeah, we could do that in the future, definitely. I mean, Fiji are one of those teams that... Um, you know, I used to really, really like. I thought, like, they were, like, because of this game, like, I thought they were, the, like, one of the worst teams in the world. But um, I used to do qualifying campaigns quite a lot with Fiji back when I was a kid. Oh, that's a bad foul by Fiji. And what's that going to be? That's only a yellow card. Can we try and score this free kick? I'd like to try. Should we go for it? Yeah, why not? Ooh, I mean, on 2006 and um, earlier games, it's really hard to score from sort of distance. You have to be incredibly lucky. Through ball here. Here comes Murmur. Can he score against Fiji? Yes, he has. It's 1-0 to Vanuatu. Murmur again with the goal. He's got two goals in this qualifying campaign. Excellent stuff for Murmur. Nice little tap in. That's all you've got to do on this game. You can't score brilliant goals. Well, we're in the 90th minute. Hasn't been too exciting from a footballing standpoint, but at least we've got the win at the moment that we deserve. Fiji are pressing now, and they almost score. What a save from the keeper. 
Vanuatu get two wins out of two. And they are rolling. It's just a matter of if we can beat Australia and New Zealand. They're the only matches that I'm concerned about. Here we go then. We're against New Zealand away from home. It just told me on the menu screen that in one of the qualifiers, Vanuatu actually beat New Zealand 4-2 in a shock result. That's their best result apparently to date, according to the game. I don't know what's happened in the last sort of like 15 years or so with Vanuatu football. But here we are. We're about to shock them again at home. For, uh, for them anyway so let's see if we can play them. our best result in probably um realistic terms is going to be a draw corner to vanuatu what can they do on this corner let's see if we can header it in and stun the host no no header there oh here we go murmur he's in behind don't cut me down please shot and it's in vanuatu have taken a shock lead against New Zealand in the 38th minute is that man again. It's Murmur. I mean, the goals on this game are so basic. You can literally just like through ball it and then just like tap it in sort of thing. It really is very basic. Um, so, yeah, I apologise if I'm not scoring absolute bangers with um, Vanuatu. You know, they're not really like the Barcelona of the World Cup, are they? Well, 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 half time. And New Zealand are 1-0 down to Vanuatu. This is not looking good for them so far. Vanuatu are storming in this qualifying series. See, I can just tackle them at will. And this is on world class as well. I think on this game, though, it's a lot easier to make tackles because all you have to do is hold a button and um, they'll go towards them. Whether it's on 2010 and 2014, there's a little bit more depth to the tackling, especially on 2014. Go for it. Go on. Oh, just shaving the post on that shot. And New Zealand are still 1-0 down here. They need to get something fast. Uh, here comes Poida. He's ran past them all. Oh, good save. Can we shoot again? Yes, we have. We scored the deflection there. And Poida scores the second goal in front of the New Zealanders to make it 2-0. What a shock result this is. New Zealand have a corner in the 90th minute. I don't think it's going to do much for them, though. But we'll wait and see and um, see if they can get a consolation back. Oh, wow. That was so close. My own player almost put it into the back of his own net. Cost in. What the hell? Like, I'm not even doing it that way. Like, stop it, Vanuatu. Stop trying to score own goals. Goalkeeper's not going for it. That's strange. But it's 2-0 anyway. We beat New Zealand 2-0 away from home. Vanuatu, absolutely. Like, the scenes in Vanuatu when those 10 people find out that New Zealand have been beaten by their international team. Imagine it. Our next match then is the big one. We're against Australia at home. So we really need to win this one because me and Australia are both unbeaten at this World Cup qualifying in Oceania. We beat them, we pull ahead. If we lose, we get pegged back a little bit. I'm not sure if there's any playoffs in Oceania. I think there is, but I think you have to still finish first. I'm not quite sure how it works on this game because obviously it's not the correct format like it is now but we're just going to give it a real good go and see if we can get a good result against the Giants in this World Cup qualifying group Australia. That's a good ball. Look at that. Oh, Schwarzer with a good save. First couple of minutes, first shot. Harry Kuehl offside. Okay. Both teams haven't really, apart from my shot at the start, haven't really posed much of a threat. Australia playing it around nicely over the top and it's offside. I was scared that they were just going to shoot and possibly get the goal they needed before half time. So, half time and it's nil nil between these two leaders in the group stage. The surprise leaders, Vanuatu, and the leaders you expect, Australia. Oh, here we go. Poida, he's in behind. He almost got slid out and Schwarzer makes the critical save. Still a chance for Vanuatu to steal this in the 90th minute. we got a corner in the 90th minute now. Can we steal this against Australia, please? It's been quite a not boring match, just super competitive between the two. Cross that in. We're going to go for the header. Oh, good save by Schwarzer. He denied a goal-scoring opportunity there. It was going to the bottom corner. It's ended 0-0 between Vanuatu and Australia. Very competitive match between these two. 
Australia will feel, though, that they probably should have won this match. Well, they should have done, really. Vanuatu and Australia, the gap in quality between those, these two is um, pretty big. So if we look at the rankings, that we are ranked the 100th in the world. We were 113th, we've gone up to 100th now, so we've improved massively. Here we go then, Tahiti versus Vanuatu. Let's see if we can beat Tahiti at away from home, sorry. I mean, the stadium's pretty much the same, it just basically changes the colours. But yeah, we need to beat them here to get maximum points and keep the pressure on Australia. Good play, Poida. Get in the box, please, someone. Header, oh, great save by the Tahiti keeper. That was going basically straight in, and he saved it. Great. Oh, here we go, Murmur. He's in behind. Can he set himself? Oh, good save by the keeper. Well, half time, and Tahiti are holding us nil and nil at the moment. I mean, we can't afford to drop games now because it's coming round to the reverse fixtures, and um, we need to get better so we can beat Australia and beat the teams that we've already beaten as well. Poida! Oh, it was a great save by the keeper, but we should have done better with the shot. The delay on the shot, good save by the Tahiti keeper again. Chilla! Oh my god, another great save. Oh, the post as well! How many shots do we need to beat Tahiti? Uh-oh, Tahiti is going for on goal. They're about to... Oh, keeper saved it. That's probably the first time in this run, that a team has actually threatened me, like, massively. Like, the first time. Our defence has been super good. Oh, here we go. Can we score this? Oh, Keeper again saves it. He's had a really great game. And dropping points here against Tahiti is not what we really wanted to do. Well, Tahiti get a draw against Vanuatu. How unexpected. We're still unbeaten in this uh, World Cup qualifying group. But we're falling off a little bit from the wins we're getting. We've got two draws. One against Australia, which is un understandable. But Tahiti, uh, we're kind of falling off a little bit. Right then, we're against Australia now. Um, I'm fairly sure we played Australia at home already. Unless this is like a playoff match. I didn't really check. I thought it was just a reverse fixture. But we've already played Australia at home. So maybe it is a playoff match or something. I don't know. Maybe we have the same amount of points. And that's like a playoff, I don't know. Or maybe these are the reverse fixtures, I don't know. Because it kept coming up on the, the board at the bottom, saying like the, the teams that were very close to me, like Solomon Islands and Fiji, saying that their coach was unhappy that they didn't qualify for the World Cup. I was like, well, you've still got like the reverse fixtures, surely. But maybe that's not how this group works. Through ball, is this offside? It better not be. No, it's not. Shot! Oh, great save by Schwarzer, just at his near post, it almost snuck in. Well, go for the through ball. Yes, that's a good through ball. Poida, I love those through balls, they're so exploitable. Schwarzer again with a fantastic save. Here we go. Come on, Poida. Come on. Oh, again, near post. Schwarzer saves it. Look at that, that was sneaking in. Or oh, about to hit the post, maybe. Another corner for Vanuatu. The home fans are right behind us. Can we qualify for this World Cup? We cross this in, and again, like, we just don't have the strength to deal with Australia in the corners, do we? Come on, press, get in the box, crossed in. Oh, no header, go up for it, just challenge it, please. It's the 90th minute, and we're about to draw Australia again uh, for the second time in this qualifying mini playthrough. Just clear it, just uh, get the draw against Australia. And that's not a bad result, even if it is still part of the group stage, still not a bad result. We peg him back a little bit. Okay, so we are against Australia at home, so it is a playoff, I guess, for the first place, because I think me and Australia finished on level points. So, we have to go to Australia now and try and win away from home. We haven't played Australia away from home yet. So it's going to be very interesting. Here we are then. This is the biggest match of Vanuatu's um, lives, I guess. Even though we played this team twice already and we've drawn. But this is away from home. A different beast. It's in Australia's ground. Can we steal a victory here against Australia? That's a decent ball. Vanuatu through. And they just narrowly miss. That was so unlucky. We've tested Schwarzer so many times in this gameplay. And still we haven't scored against him. Comes Australia. 
They haven't done much against me, really. We've been quite solid defensively. There hasn't been any outrageous plays from Australia yet. About to through ball it, but that's definitely going to be offside. No, it's not. Okay. Can we position ourselves? Shot. Oh, my God. Just get the rebound already. <laughs> Please. It's just not been happening so far. Like, all our chances and stuff are squandered. Um, all the passes we've been making are just not being good enough. We've got the ball here on the wing. Is there anybody in there? There is, but there's still no shot to be had. Have a shot miles over the bar. Can we get the ball into the box? We can, but it's not a header again. It's not headed. Like, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, it's offside. These two teams are, like, stupidly well matched in these last three matches we played. And it shouldn't be like that, really. We should have been better in front of goal. So I think now it's going to go to extra time. Um, yeah, I think it has. So, yeah. Just more the same. Just keep defending and maybe we can drag this to penalties. Shot. Oh, wow. I thought that was actually going top corner, but no. Goalkeeper was already in animation. Loud to. He's throwing goal. Have a shot. That was horrendous, but it still went back to me. Header. Oh, and Schwartz has saved again. Australia haven't had a proper shot. They've just been sat back. And it's just so strange that they've done that. Because most of the time they've been offside or something like that. They haven't been amazing. That ball there was fantastic. And another fantastic ball there. Get in the box. Ready for this header. Oh, my goodness. Two minutes have added, but they've just booted it away. And it's going to penalties, this one. This very, very well matched up two teams here. We played them three times and still no winner in normal time. We have to play them now in penalties. I can't remember how to take penalties on this game. I'm just going to give it a good go. Here we go then. Penalties. Australia versus Vanuatu. A chance to get into the World Cup. First penalty taker is Mark Faduka. Oh, I went, he went that way, but I went the right way as well. Whatever. <laughs> okay, it's my turn now, Poida. I think I just put it over the bar. Yeah, I did. Damn it. That was a horrible penalty. I didn't even put it that far over, like, the bar at the bottom. Or, you know, the, the power bar. I didn't put it that much under. So now we got to beat... Well, we got to save Tim Cahill's penalty. What's he going to do? I'm just constantly making sure that... I go. Oh, I went the right way again, but it was a perfect penalty, and um, now we're one 0 down on penalties. Okay, right. So, um, well, two 0 down. Sorry, on penalties. Murmur. He's been top goal scorer in this one, and down the middle, nice and safe. Murmur scores, and it is one 0 Well, no. What am I talking about? It's two one to Australia on penalties. Sorry, I've lost focus a little bit. Bresciano. Here we go. Can we save his penalty, Vanuatu? We're making that bar a little bit stronger. And yes, what a save. What a save. Bresciano, he almost chips it into the top right-hand corner. But the Vanuatu keeper saves it. And what a save that is. You know, the penalties on this game, like all the cutscenes and stuff, the penalty animations and stuff are way better than the 2010 and... Um, 2014 World Cup, I feel anyway. There was such emotion in that. You could feel that, you know, the players, and that took the penalty for me. I was literally about to take it, and the computer took it for me, and thankfully, it was actually the right decision. <laughs> Stupid computer almost. Imagine if the computer missed it for me. I would have been fuming. Okay, well, he chips it into the top right-hand corner. And Australia still got the advantage. We have to score this penalty. Otherwise, we are out. It's Vava with the penalty. And look at this. It's displaying the emotion, the drama of this, the weight of this game. Will we be able to score this penalty against Australia, please? Let's go. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Okay, now it's gone straight back to um, Australia now. Didn't have any cutscene or anything. Harry Kuehl is definitely going to score this. I think it's over. I think it's over. It is over. It is. Oh, my God, Australia. Oh, my God. Harry Kuehl scores the winning penalty. And Vanuatu were so close to qualifying for the World Cup. There was so much drama in that. I mean, we drew, we technically drew against Australia three times in that run. But then to have like a penalty shootout in a playoff match for 
Oceana, which I've never seen before, um, apart from this game, it must have been an old format or something, it's, um, it's heartbreaking for Vanuatu. But that was your little run with Vanuatu, I really hope you enjoyed it, it was a bit random, but again, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, then give it a like and subscribe, keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.